the world's most feared predator, Stan the T-Rex is today making his Asia debut to scare up business for an Italian paleontologist making toys that teach. I wanted to bring something new to the kids, uh, something more educational, something more uh, interesting for them and uh, make sure that in this way they can learn about paleontology and dinosaurs but from products that are very close to reality. The parents are concerned uh, first of all on safety so it's very important uh, that uh, anything we produce is uh, tested and is very safe for, for our kids. And also activity. It's not only learning, but it's also play. Because playing, and uh, in this way they learn much faster. That pace of learning seems only matched by how quickly toy companies are adopting new technology. And nowhere are these trends more visible than at the HKTDC Hong Kong Toys and Games Fair. Asia's largest event of its kind. The fair's 38th edition has plenty of new exhibitors, a new zone for animal toys, and a 30% larger brand name gallery. One of the highlights from this year's Hong Kong Toys and Games Fair is the Symphony in B. It's part of the B line from Hong Kong's Branford Limited and it teaches kids not only about shapes, but also about the individual instruments in an orchestra. It's all part of the increasing trend worldwide for creating toys that are more in tune with the educational needs of children. Toy producers are also finding success by creating items that foster creativity, like these 3D pop-up robots kids build themselves or items like this award-winning series that helps children discover a more environmentally friendly future. Our company is uh, specialized in the eco-learning toys and also some of the educational toys. So it's something is unique, which you know in the market. We, so we can develop our own. We uh, spend our team to develop and also to create and also to, you know, want to, to let the customer to find something new. There are even some toys that are so realistic they're used for law enforcement training. One part is for the simulation for the law enforcement and the other part is playing the war game. Okay, so the war game should be the big boys, big boys toys to do the war game. We think we're in the toy business, but we're not. We're in the play business. And there's a lot of folks in the play business right now and that's anybody who who uh, sells apps for iPods and iPads, to video games, uh, to anybody who engages in play. We too much present the toy industry as a children's industry, and we're not. Everybody wants to play more than ever. And at a time when children are walking away from toys at earlier ages, adults are holding on with a death grip. They want to play with their toys, and, and so we have to embrace the entire family. That message is embraced by Germany's Princess Maya von Hohenzollern. Kids get the royal treatment with her line of furniture, shoes, and other toy products, which blend tradition with modern technology. I think it's so nice to know that my grandma had a rocking horse, my mom had a rocking horse, I had one, and that children nowadays have not just these nee -nee 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 things, but they also have some traditional toys. I like that idea because it's combining generations. Every single piece that I do, I really uh, paint by my, I draw it by myself. It has a connection to my real princess life. And I think this is unique because there are no uh, collections and lines on the market which are from a princess for princesses. <laughs> Uh, we have recognized that there is um, a lot of interest from the uh, markets here, from the Chinese market and also from the American market. So, um, but we also find quite uh, some buyers from Norway or Sweden, so or some European ones here. But I think it's, it's a worldwide phenomenon because all the people or all the children in the world know the fairy tales about a princess. So it's an international worldwide thing.